Hi, in this video, I show you how to calculate the advantage of an adversary in the semantic security game. We use, uh, for the cipher, we will use a stream cipher with a pseudorandom generator. That was the topic of a separate video where we were showing that it's entirely predictable. Okay, so we use a very predictable stream cipher uh, to show that the adversary in the semantic security game uh, has a good uh, advantage. So quick, quick recap, uh, in the semantic security game, we have a challenger. So we have a challenger and an adversary. And the ad so the challenger draws a key uniformly at random in the key space, while the adversary chooses an M0 and an M1. So in this particular example, we'll have uh, M0 being 00110011, and M1 will be just the all zero message, okay? But of course, this choice uh, is uh, specific to the adversary uh, that we that we decide, and then this, the to be secure, uh, a stream um, uh, a cipher has to be uh, secure against all possible choice of an adversary. Uh, then the adversary sends the messages the M zero and M one, and the challenger. Then there are two experiments. Uh, in the experiment one, the challenger calculates the encryption of M. Uh, in the experiment zero, it calculates the encryption of M zero. Okay, and in experiment one, it calculates the encryption of M one. Okay, and then it sends that uh, ciphertext to the adversary. And then, so the adversary doesn't know which experiment they're being put in. So they will receive either consi uh, consistently uh, an, ex uh, an encryption of M0 or an encryption of M1, okay, without really knowing what it is. And it just has to output a zero or a one. And then we will calculate from the probability of outputting zero, either in, pro in the experiment zero or in the experiment one, we calculate the advantage of the adversary, okay? So, uh, with that in mind, I will proceed to show what's the definition of the adversary. Okay, so here we have an adversary that looks at the ciphertext that arrives their way and output zero if the first and the third bit of the ciphertext are different, okay? So um, we will calculate, so the experiment probably of returning zero in that experiment. So uh, remember, uh, that pseudo, so that's the uh, uh, key stream here. Uh, uh, because of the definition of G, the key stream looks like this. So K1, K2, K1, K2, etc. Okay. And then with that choice of M, we got 0, 0, 1, 1, and, my cipher, and so on and so forth. And my ciphertext is the XOR bit by bit of the key stream in the message. So here we have. First bit is a K1, second bit is a K2, and third bit is a K1 bar, so K1 XOR 1. So if K1 is a 0, then we get a 1. If the K1 is a 1, we get a 0. So what that means is C1, which is the first bit, and C3, which is the third bit, they are always different, okay? So the probability that the adversary returns 0 in that experiment is 1. Right, and that's because the adversary always faces a ciphertext that is that has the first, the first, and the third bit that are different. Okay, now let's see what happened to that same adversary in the experiment one. Okay, experiment one, we're receiving the encryption of the all zero message. So I just rewrite my key stream to simplify things here. Okay, so my key stream is still K1, K2, K1, K2, etc. The message now is different in that experiment. It's the all zero message. And therefore, the ciphertext is the XOR of the message uh, with the key stream. So here it's K1, K2, K1, K2, etc., etc. Okay, now my C1 here is K1, and my C3 is also K1. So they are all, all the time equal. So the probability that my adversary returns zero is zero. It never happens, okay? So with that in mind, how do we calculate 
the uh, advantage of that adversary. So what's my advantage? The advantage of the adversary is the absolute value of the difference between those two probabilities, p of w1 and w0, okay? And here, what that means is this difference between 1 and 0, which is 1. So the, uh, we have shown that the advantage was non-negligible. It's actually 1, the biggest value that it can take. So we have shown that the adversary is efficient uh, at being successful, and so the stream cipher is not secure. Thank you very much for listening. Now you know how to calculate the advantage of a given adversary in the semantic security game.